RSS is an abbreviation for really simple syndication. And it really is simple to add RSS to your Moodle course using the remote RSS feed block. You can spend some time before your course selecting the best RSS feeds for your subject and configuring the block. Then each time your students visit the page, they will see up-to-date news items and links. RSS feeds may be disabled on your site, so if you follow through this video and find the message RSS feeds are disabled in your RSS feed block, contact your site administrator to enable this feature. Before you try and add an RSS feed to your Moodle course, you need to go and find them on the internet. Pretty much any site that gets regular updates will have an RSS feed. For example, news sites such as the New Zealand Herald have the RSS feed here. Blogs, forums. The RSS button may look different on all these sites, but it's there somewhere. Once you find the feed button, simply click on it and it will take you to the RSS feed. Once you are at the feed, just copy the URL from the location or address bar of your browser. Then in your Moodle course, turn editing on. Add a remote RSS feed block. Click the configuration icon. Click on add edit feeds, because we're wanting to add a new feed. And then click on the little button to add a new feed. Paste the URL of the copied feed. You can leave the title blank and it will use the feed's official title. However, you can overwrite this by giving it your own title. Click add a new feed. Then you can see your feed and its title, as well as a description underneath. I'm going to edit this feed and give it my own title, because the title is not descriptive enough. I edit it by clicking on the edit icon. Change the title and click save changes. To get back to configuring my block now that I've added my feed, I click on my course name in the navigation bar and click back on the icon to configure my remote RSS feed block again. Now I can see the feed that I've just added in the list of available feeds. Click to select it. There are various other options that can also be changed. I could display the full article under each link title, choose the number of new items the block displays, give the block a custom title, choose whether a link to the original site is included in the block. If the feed has an image associated with it, this can be displayed in the block. If this is set to yes, but there is no image with the feed, no image will be displayed. There are options to choose where this block displays. All of these can be left as they are. Click Save Changes to see how the feed is displayed on the page. 